Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to mock our, your entity framework DB context when testing or unit testing your service. So the pattern um, usually for um, clean developers or clean coders like myself is to create a service and then that service is the one where the DB context is going to be injected and we are not doing this in in the controller but uh, in my previous videos I'm doing it in the controller to just to make it uh, more quick to code and to show you but in this example we're doing a service and we don't have any code yet in our controller so um, here I'm using a bait abstract uh, CRUD service uh, that is so that we can um, save time and doing all the typing for your cons your other services like for here uh, example here we have customers and trucks already but we are just just doing the same code base though so this is the base crud and this is where your create delete get by id get list and update is going to be coded and in this example i'm just doing the uh, the base uh, the create one for uh, as an example uh, so this is where we inject the db context and we set the entity here that we're going to set whatever type that we're uh, that is going to implement this for example um truck All right yeah so the truck we'll, we'll open this one here uh in here All right so example here the truck so it's implementing this and it doesn't have any implementation here because it's inheriting the base controller but we can still override them um, yeah I didn't put this as virtual we should be we should put this as virtual All right this one should be virtual this one also is virtual so that we can override this on the concrete implementation like for example here um, track service override uh, create track so you can do your own um, custom behavior for your truck not following what is set here in the base controller right so that is um, that is it uh, okay so how do we test this so um, I already coded here an example so to test this i use the moq this one here this is a package from this is a free package to uh, mock your um, classes or your services that are um you're not gonna be testing on your like your unit or the uh, unit under testing u80 unit under u your UAT unit test or uh, whatever all right so this is how I set it up um, I mock the DB context first and then I mock the DB set and then that mock DB set is then set up on the mock DB context here I'll just show you the code here and this is to set up the add async which is this one uh, this one is at async and then we set set it to be on the db context here and out here and then the save changes we also set up because we have a db save changes async here so we also set it up and then after that we then wrap it up and put them on the truck service uh, that is injected so that should be in this one here truck service and then the truck service here we can now act on it so uh, remember the tdd the assert act oh no the arrange act and assert so we are now going to act we are now going to create the track and then and then after that we are going to uh, then assert whatever the properties that are generated after the create so we can also uh, do some checking here so what if there's an error so that will be on the next video but for now we're just going to set up here the test uh, how how to do the testing here
all right so that's it um, and this one here uh, if we run the test uh, it's it's working and if we're going to put a breakpoint here and then put a breakpoint here if we debug the test right so it uh, falls here and then it falls here and then because we set up them so we don't have to this is not a um, this will let execute like go save on the database because this is just a mock uh, we are um, setting up the expected uh, setting up some sample behavior or yep and after that it goes here it's successful all right so that's it six minutes uh, all right guys so thank you oh uh, no 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 i will still show you that this is working as a but this is not connected is this connected base controller Mm, no. Uh, this is already in Postgres, so the truck is here. Um, view data here. Yeah, this is um, not connected. So we we can try to. Oh no, that will be on the next video. We'll try to create a truck controller and then use the service. All right. So do we need to do that? No, no, that will be on the next video. So right guys, thanks. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.